So welcome today. This is day one of Haging Loop. We hired a guide from Haging Tours, which is part of the Easy Rider group. And boy, are we glad we did. This guy's name is T, pronounced, or excuse me, spelled T-Y. And he was great. He did a great job, very conscientious. We kind of stayed away from a lot of the other groups because of our timing, and it really worked out well. This is one of four videos that's going to come out on this loop. If you think what we're doing is worthwhile, please consider subscribing. We're at 999 subscribers. We hit one more, we'll be monetized, and we're going to start using that money for charity. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button to help us out. Thanks, and have a great day. first stop was this waterfall with a small lake at the bottom. We were only about 20 minutes from our starting point. Holiday! He says we can go somewhere if we want, but those crocodiles say no. No, there's no crocodiles here. Get the map like nearly so. China. Can you see China from there? Uh, yes, I got uh, around 20 meters because uh, we are nearly and then before they make the train like not not like, like higher like this so just the twins can walk to the training meter uh -huh. and then go to make the <laughs> <laughs> and go go yeah just a little. <laughs> you turn Chinese when you walk over there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. You think we'll turn Chinese? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll be thinner. <laughs> so it's go out. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So. <laughs> it's nice. Cheers. Watch how fast our guide makes his right hand turn. He doesn't even hesitate, he just goes. That's the way it happens here. You don't look left, you just look right, and you hug the road as you pull out, and they're expected to pass you on the left. It's just a thing here.
lot of the area that we're driving through is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The beauty is just stunning. Every turn gets better and better. These rest drops are everywhere, usually at places that it's a beautiful view. They offer cold beverages. Most of the participants on the ride choose a beer, which by the end of the day means it's a pretty lively group. 
But since they're not driving, sit on the back, I guess it doesn't really matter. They're having a good time. We enjoyed these stops, a little camaraderie. Everybody was always asking about the bike. Talked about the trip, the ups and downs. The longer the trip went, the bigger the stories got. I lost track of the number of times my vertical kicked in a little bit. My adrenaline was working overtime on this trip. But fabulous views. Just stay away from the edge. Jeez, not another one. Duck here. About this time, I was screaming as loud as I could into my helmet. I'm sure Kathy had to turn the volume down on her headset. <laughs> This was our first night's homestay. We ate dinner in this large uh, building here on the left. There's a door into the entryway. We stayed in these cabins here, or one on the right. Quite nice, mosquito netting, nice fan, pleasant family. We ate family style for dinner and breakfast. It was a wonderful experience. Okay, we're heading towards the cave now. 
about a five kilometer ride. The cave's about 1.2 kilometers from where we parked. So we've dropped off most of our gear at the homestay in anticipation of leaving our bikes in a parking lot at the cave entrance. Sweet potato laying on the ground, drying. Hope chickens are going to help themselves to some down over here. <laughs> Yeah, they're having a little feast there. authentic that way yes that's corn planted on these steep ass cliffs everything's done by hand there's no tractors here Hello. Come on down. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's some pictures Kathy got from inside the cave. I'll leave you with these final photos. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.